Hi, my name is Deb Constein. I am from the Madison, Wisconsin area in the United States, and I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis about 38 years ago. I have been volunteering for AI arthritis, and it's been about seven years now, and I have been involved in many ways. I've been traveling to conferences with Tiffany. She's been my go-to person as we've been traveling together to both ULAR and the ACR, the American College of Rheumatology. I've been part of AI Arthritis Voices. I've been a reoccurring co-host for our 360 talk show. I've been part of the Precision Medicine and one of the original ACT project participants and helped out with that in many ways. I am a dietitian by trade, but medically retired for probably 20 years now. And I just really came to know AI arthritis for everything that is, again, it's all patient led. And I love that. I love that it's a patient led organization. We're all patients that volunteer together, as well as some of our employees. Some of the employees may or may not have arthritis, but again, there's just something about AI arthritis that it's a family a family outside of our family. I, I just love the impact that we have. We're always focusing on education, advocacy, and research. Tiffany welcomed me to, I learned a little bit more about OMRAC and became an active partner in OMRAC as far as shared decision-making and a few other things. And I, I like what we stand for. We identify problems and we work together to solve those problems and make others aware. And one thing that we've always been the first to do is make sure that everybody is seated at the table that are equal partners, whether it's a patient, a researcher, a doctor, the industry, meaning pharma. We all are together working for the common goal of solving the problems that we find. They're always coming up, even in just conversations we're having together, Tiffany, myself, and Katie, Patrice, all of us are sitting together and we're all kind of talking about what's been going on in our lives. And we identify problems that pop up as one of the most recent ones was with COVID. Some of our medications are now being reserved for our hospitalized COVID patients. So like my medication in particular, is not available for me at this time because it's being reserved for the hospitalized COVID patients. So we brought that to people's attention. Again, I've volunteered for many organizations and I have slowed down my volunteering for several of those organizations because I see more of an impact. I see where our dollars are going. I see just right out front exactly what we're doing and all of the things that we're solving together. And I just I always find it so interesting that just a simple conversation will bring up so many different ideas, things like that. I just, I can't explain just how passionate I am about this group. And I donate quite a bit to this group, my husband and I, because we see with living proof of everything that we're doing. And again, we've been around for about 10 years now and man, we are going places and we just need more volunteers to hop in with us to make that impact and make the difference. Go to the conferences with us, even if it's virtual or in person. So again, so many opportunities. I can't thank AI Arthritis enough for letting me be part of it. Thanks. Thanks.